This is something we've all heard time after time after time, again and again. But with everything as we read the Bible, with everything that we find in it, especially uh, the words of Jesus Christ Himself, this scripture is uh, never tiring, never gets old. I never get tired of hearing it. And that is one Psalms 118, verse uh, 10, uh, 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Man, after a while, church, you know, uh, mankind can do us a whole lot of good if, uh, and some men do, women as well. But sooner or later, as you and I know, they will indeed let us down in one fashion or another, some way, somehow. Now, we always say that God is still on the throne, and He is. We uh, say that God is still in full control, and He is. God has all power, not just some, but He has all power in heaven and in earth. But sometimes, church, you know as well as I do, we want to hurry things along when we ask something of God. Uh, sometimes God uh, actually allows our hearts to break. And in those times, we need to understand that He sincerely cares how we are feeling, what we are going through, what we are thinking. Uh, and he is there, even though many, many times we uh, feel, I hope we don't think, but many, many times we do feel like uh, the Lord is nowhere to be found. And for the most part, when those times come, it uh, will uh, cause some people to begin to think, Lord, have I done something? Where are you? We begin to ask and inquire, Lord, where are you? You said that you'd never leave me, but yet I feel like I'm so alone. Uh, Lord, I've, I've prayed uh, for a long time now, but nothing ever seems to change. Uh, <clears throat> name one reason anybody, I, well, I'll just go ahead and tell you uh, uh, one reason, and it's uh, <clears throat> the best reason I can come up with. Uh, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. And it most certainly is. That is because that um, for uh, because of what he has done for mankind. Church, we need to understand that, uh, and I hope we do, and I believe we all pretty much understand. But sometimes we uh, 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 our mind doesn't want to recall <coughs> that. The God on the mountain is still God in the valley. Sometimes uh, God does not answer our prayer immediately, but in this worldly, this world that is full of rush, 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 uh, we sometimes just don't want to wait. We don't have the patience to wait. When our loved ones are uh, taken away from this earth, 
instead, uh, especially if they know the Lord and if they're ready to go. There is one uh, script. There's uh, scriptures that we need to uh, ponder on and think about and allow to come to our mind. Uh, that will cause comfort, peace, and joy, and uh, uh, lift up our hearts and lift up our spirits. Uh, but and before I tell us uh, what at least one of them is, uh, we have the tendency of uh, just wondering why, Lord, why? How come it was me? How come it was them? Why am I going through this? And uh, we begin to feel this and think that and, and begin to actually say this or say that uh, when... <clears throat> And believe that maybe the Lord has left us. Maybe we have done something that we shouldn't have. Uh, begin to wonder, is God really hearing my prayer uh, like he said he would? Is he really with me uh, right now like he said he would be? Because if he is, he needs to move in on the scene uh, so I can fill him. Uh, but church, a lot of times uh, we actually need uh, to go through these things, uh, but when we do go through these things, we don't have to understand why uh, we go through them or why we even need to go through them. All we need to understand is what the Word of God says. All things work to the good uh, to those that love and serve uh, me or Him, uh, it says. And it also says, Blessed are those that die in the Lord from this day forward, for their works do follow them. And in that's in Revelation and in the book of Isaiah, I believe it says the, uh, 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 the righteous perish, which it means they seem to perish in the eyes of the world. And then it goes on to say, uh, but uh, none considering uh, that the righteous are taken away out of the way uh, from the evil to come. Uh, that right there are just are just three scriptures, church, that comes to my mind. And uh, 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 another one would be uh, that knowing that when this life is over, I get to go and be in a uh, place that is prepared for me uh, without hands. Man had nothing to do with it. Uh, I have uh, there's a mansion uh, that brother I get to go to uh, that has been prepared by Jesus and God alone. And he said if I go away uh, I will come again uh, uh, and receive you unto myself that where I am there you may be also. Uh, but when we get back uh, to what this young lady uh, that I I work with was singing about uh, brother she knew uh, that uh, 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 we have to understand that uh, no doubt in my mind she's mourning uh, because of a lost loved one and it struck her that you know uh, she knows that God is able and she knows that God can uh, save through the fire uh, with his mighty hand but in uh, even if he don't, uh, she said that her hope is in him alone. And church, that's what I want to ask us today, uh, knowing uh, that it is much better to trust in God than to put our confidence in man. Uh, we love it when God hears our prayer, do we not? Uh, we love it when God uh, seems to bring the prayer that we've inquired about, or the the uh, uh, whatever of uh, the supplication uh, that we've asked of him. Uh, we love to see it come to pass uh, because it ensures us uh, that God has heard our prayer. It ensures us uh, that God is still uh, answering prayer. Uh, but church, listen, uh, uh, what would it be like uh, knowing uh, that God can indeed uh, save uh, through the fire with his mighty hand uh, knowing that 
he is able, uh, knowing beyond doubt that he can. Uh, but church, what if he didn't do it? Uh, I can imagine the day uh, when the three Hebrew children, Meshach, uh, Shadrach, and Abednego, uh, brother had no idea. And we have to understand and realize that uh, they did not have a clue if God would save them uh, from the fiery furnace uh, that was mentioned or not. They had no clue. Uh, they had no idea. Uh, but just like this young lady mentioned, uh, they did know uh, that he was able. Uh, they did know uh, that he could. And because of that knowledge alone, church, and sometimes their faith, it will waver. Yes, indeed. Uh, sometimes their faith of uh, which we think is so much or so big, uh, sometimes uh, something will uh, be allowed to take place uh, that will bring us almost uh, down to nothing, will it not? And we find out, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, that we don't quite have the faith uh, that we've been talking about. We don't seem to quite have the faith uh, that we brag to others about. Uh, we don't seem quite in the place uh, that we really wanted to be or would like to be uh, with the Lord our God. Uh, but church, there's a, a no need to threat and no need to fret uh, when anything in this walk life uh, takes place uh, because just knowing uh, that the Lord is able and just knowing uh, that he's beyond uh, able and knowing that he can indeed uh, regardless of what he does or not. Uh, brother, we know and we can stand upon that alone uh, knowing that uh, God is more than able uh, knowing that um, regardless if he do chooses uh, to or not uh, intervene, uh, we know that he can uh, just by speaking the word he doesn't have to get up and make a phone call uh, brother, he simply uh, has to speak the word and it will indeed come to pass, it will indeed happen, it will indeed take place uh, but I'm afraid church uh, that sometime uh, when it's good uh, that we have to walk uh, through the valley from time to time uh, because if we were allowed uh, to stay on the mountaintop all the days of our life uh, we would find ourselves eventually uh, believe it or not uh, getting into the place in our lives uh, to where we will begin to believe and think uh, that we don't need God as much as we thought we did uh, but church that's a scary place and that's a bad place and it's the wrong place to be in uh, that's why uh, even though the, uh, the God of the mountain he's still God in the valley I remember that valley uh, brother when Gideon was down there uh, how God uh, told him send the people home uh, because you're going to see uh, your God fight the battle for you. Uh, the same God that was with them, church, on the mountain and in the battle and during the fight. Uh, the same God that was with them, church, uh, and won that battle. Uh, was he not the same uh, while they was down in the valley? Understand something. Uh, Sometimes uh, uh, we don't believe everything uh, that is uh, uh, that we know God can do. Why? Uh, because we just can't understand how God's going to do it. And once again, uh, because they uh, 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 marched around the walls of Jericho, uh, brother, it had no doubt in my mind. It may have seemed a little strange uh, to that's all we have to do. It may have seemed a little, uh, a little strange uh, to the people that got up and did it. Oh, but it didn't matter how it sounded. It didn't matter what was going on in the minds of these people uh, because they trusted their God. I okay, God, if that's what you say. I don't understand it. It don't make any sense, uh, but if 
just what you say. Uh, that's what we'll do. Uh, that's where I'm leading to now. Uh, church, we have to understand and come to the conclusion uh, that whether we understand it or not, uh, that whether it sounds uh, uh, like it makes sense or not, if God said it and if God is in it, uh, come to the understanding and come to the place in your life uh, to where regardless of uh, what it may see, uh, seem like or sound like, uh, choose to be obedient uh, to the Lord your God. Uh, why should I, church uh, preacher, some people say, uh, because he will not fail you. Uh, because he will not let you down. Uh, because he will not run uh, from the enemy. Uh, because he will go before you. Uh, because he will do exactly as he said he would do. Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, uh, back to Nebuchadnezzar, uh, back to the three Hebrew children. Uh, they admitted it, did they not? Uh, we don't know if our God will save us uh, from your hand or not. Uh, we don't know if God will save us uh, from that fire or not. Uh, but understand this, O oh King, uh, we may as well, I may as well uh, interpret it into today's English uh, so there's no uh, confusion whatsoever. Uh, but regardless, King, uh, with, uh, uh, us not knowing uh, and, and uh, us, uh, uh, um, uh, they had to be nervous, church, uh, because because we have faith in God uh, does not mean uh, that the flesh will not grow weary. Uh, because we have faith in God uh, does not mean uh, the flesh will not get a little nervous. Uh, because we have faith in God uh, does not mean uh, that we won't have a care or a worry from time to time. Uh, but having faith in God and being obedient unto God and learning to stand upon the word of God uh, regardless of what the ears hear, uh, regardless of what the eyes see. Uh, church, when we choose uh, to stand upon his word and believe uh, what he says, uh, brother, we're going uh, to begin to slow down uh, the being tossed to and fro uh, like a person upon the sea uh, because of our faith wavers uh, goes back and forth all of the time. Uh, we need to understand uh, that we can expect absolutely uh, nothing from God Almighty. Uh, but I'm here to tell you, uh, when we believe upon God, uh, when we stand upon His Word, uh, nothing shall be impossible. Uh, church, I'm reminded uh, that even though they didn't know, uh, they was, uh, uh, they was uh, firm. Even though we don't know these things, O King, just the, just the knowledge of knowing uh, that He's able, of uh, the knowledge of loan, of knowing that he can. Uh, with that knowledge alone, uh, we're going to have to miss out on your bowing down to you. Uh, we're not going to bow down unto the false God that you made. Uh, so if you're going to uh, burn us alive, uh, you may as well get on with it. Uh, yes, we can be nervous. Uh, yes, we can feel dread uh, come upon us. Uh, but church, I'll tell you what, I'm reminded of something else. Uh, the, uh, any weapon they form against a child of the king, it will not prosper. Did you get a load of that? I said it will not prosper. And it's not me saying it, church. It's God Almighty saying it. Uh, listen today, church. If we will put our uh, money where our mouth is, uh, uh, so to speak, uh, brother, we wouldn't have uh, the chaos that we have today. I'm a firm believer uh, that if the people of God uh, the all over the world uh, would just forget about a uh, one day church, I believe uh, that's probably all it would take uh, to get things started. Uh, but don't stop there. Uh, but that's all it would take. I believe uh, with all of my heart uh, to get things rolling, uh, to get uh, things a moving 
and that is the people of God. Uh, turn the TV off for a little while and brother, just go somewhere, even if it means being in your car, uh, praying unto God, uh, crying out unto God, and even if it means uh, that you forget to eat, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, continue on with, uh, uh, between you and the Lord your God, uh, praying for uh, a revival to take place, uh, praying for uh, the community of the people uh, to come into the house of God, uh, praying for God's own people uh, to learn how to love each other instead of uh, allowing denomination uh, to split them up and tear them apart uh, because I've got news for you. It's not the word denomination that's doing it at all. It's the snare of the devil himself. Uh, that's what it boils down to. Uh, but if the people of God uh, would do exactly as he said, uh, first of all, humble ourselves. Uh, most of us don't want to humble ourselves before nobody. Uh, we think we're too good uh, to humble ourselves. I was seeing a show yesterday uh, that the uh, 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 girls were watching at home and one pair of uh, the parents were teaching their children on how to be uh, envied uh, by everybody else. Uh, they were graded on the way they dressed uh, before they went to school. Uh, they were graded on how they sit at the table. They were graded on uh, if they brushed their teeth on how they walk, how they talk. And I mean they brought the children together on a daily basis and showed them their grade. They were even graded on how the, how long it took them uh, to get out of the car and go into the house. Uh, but church, I'll tell you, uh, that seemed to me uh, like a lot of waste of time uh, to go on and do something like that. Uh, let the children be children. And brother, let's be, uh, while they're being children, uh, be praying on their behalf and praying on uh, our, lo our loved one's behalf, our husbands and our wives. Uh, church, listen to this. I'm reminded once upon a time uh, when Sarah and Abraham heard the words uh, from God, uh, brother, this time, uh, in the time of life, uh, you shall conceive a son. I'm reminded how Sarah, even though she believed in God, uh, she laughed. Uh, like she didn't believe it. Uh, but God called her at it and said he called her out. Oh, uh, why did you laugh? Oh, I didn't laugh. Oh, but you did laugh. And then ask them a question. Shall is anything too hard for God? A uh, church many times. Uh, we uh, It seems like uh, something might just be a little too hard uh, for God. Does it not in our life? Uh, but that's because of the unbelief. Uh, that's because we give up too fast. I don't care who you are or uh, what you're going through. I don't care if you have the worst wife or if you have the worst husband. Uh, brother, God can bring that person uh, to their knees. Uh, just look at the Apostle Paul. Uh, don't take my word for it. Uh, he went out. Uh, he was rude. Uh, brother, he was a killer. Uh, whether he uh, literally used his hands or not. And he was on his way when God brought him down and spoke to him uh, to, uh, uh, to arrest some more of God's people and to bring them back into the city and to uh, in chains and bonds and fetters and have them killed. Oh, but God got a hold of him. And church, I'll tell you, uh, God changed that man. Uh, there was a difference between daylight in dark. It wasn't something that you uh, uh, just could hope for or pray for. It was something that uh, God allowed us to see. Uh, but even then, even when God spoke to people and told them about Saul, uh, brother, they even told the Lord uh, like he didn't know. Uh, God, this is the very one. I know this man. Uh, he's the very one uh, that persecuted 
reach your people. He's the very one uh, that takes us down the road, so to speak, and has us killed. Uh, but God already knew it. Uh, but God told him, I have chosen this man as my vessel. He's going to do this and do that. He's going to work for me from this day forward. And church, I'll tell you right now, as I read about Paul, I see that how he started off uh, 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 thinking of himself in the Lord of uh, the lowest among the apostles uh, when God made him an apostle and a preacher uh, but uh, as time went on he be, he he considered himself uh, the lowest of all a uh, Christian's brother uh, because of him persecuting the church uh, that man was humbled indeed uh, but there's one thing I don't know how long it took it may have just ju uh, God uh, it may have not taken anything thing uh, except God bringing him down and he might have been on fire from that day forward and never quit. Oh, but church, listen, uh, there was many times uh, when he was in prison. There was many times uh, that he had been shipwrecked. There was many times that he went hungry. Uh, there was many times uh, that uh, he had been beaten and striped and just thrown over the somewhere and left for dead. Oh, but thanks be unto God, uh, brother, he uh, remembered the word of God. And even though he was going through uh, the things that he went through, he still stood upon the word of God, did he not? He, in matter of fact, that's not all he did. Uh, while he was doing that, uh, he still found, uh, brother, the time uh, to lift up the church of God and he found the time uh, to try to encourage uh, the church of God and the people of God and brother when the time come uh, that he knew he knew beyond a shadow of a doubt it was no more uh, like the uh, three Hebrew children uh, not knowing if they would die there right there or not uh, but brother the time came for Paul uh, that he knew he was going to die uh, with within a matter of minutes or a matter of hours. Uh, but he still pressed on, did he not? Uh, brother, the uh, Roman soldiers are coming and he knew they was coming for him. Uh, but he still stood upon the word of God. Uh, he didn't have to know if he was going to live, get through it or not. Uh, brother, he was ready to go. And he also made a statement uh, to, uh, uh, to be absent in the world is to be present with the Lord. Uh, church, how in the world uh, can we get all allow ourselves, but we still do, uh, to get down and discouraged. Allow ourselves, but we do, uh, to get depressed. Uh, church, and uh, uh, but when we know the things that we know uh, we don't dwell on those for the most part uh, we dwell on uh, what Satan's whispering in the ear what Satan's trying to get us uh, to buy into uh, what doubt Satan is trying uh, to get us to doubt uh, but he did the same thing to the son of God did he not of course he did he ain't doing anything new today uh, that he didn't do back Back then, he tried to cast doubt uh, from the beginning. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> By going up to Eve and uh, acting like he was smart. Did God say, you already know that God said it. <coughs> Got a tickle in the throat. And Eve knew it too. But listening to the devil, <coughs> excuse me, look where it got mankind today. Look where it got mankind today. <coughs> All right. Mankind has ha uh, had everything turned over to him, and look what he's done with it. Made a complete mess. And God 
Thank God for his unconditional love. He continues to see it and continues to allow it to go on. Why? <clears throat> because his word will indeed be completely fulfilled. And when his word <coughs> completely comes to pass, then I'll tell you what, time shall be no more. Time shall be no more. Many things we can look into the Bible and read <coughs> and not understand or wish. Have you ever wished, man, Lord? I wish that I had half of the faith that this person has. Let's take Elijah. Prayed unto God that it would not rain. He was like you and I. In like passion, the Bible says, wasn't nothing uh, more special about him than you and I, except his faith in God. If anything, it would have to be his faith in God. Prayed unto God in front of all of these people. After he ha had them dig the trench, put their faults, uh, put their offering up on it unto their false God, and then had him build one <clears throat> uh, and fill it, fill it with water until the, it was overflowing in the trench. He stood there before all of these people and asked his God to show everybody present who is God. Fire, as we know, if we have read the Bible, came down from heaven, dried all of the water up, and consumed his uh, offering. What did the people do? Well, there's no doubt, first of all, first of all, fear come upon them without a shadow of a doubt. And you know what, church? Fear, when it comes to the Lord, that's a good thing. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I don't have to know what I'm going to preach on when I get up here. As a matter of fact, ten times out of ten, I don't know. What are you going to preach on uh, this weekend, uh, Pastor? I've learned to say the pulpit <laughs> or the Word of God. And that, that's the way I can answer it. I don't know until the time comes. And you know why I don't know? I don't know the hearts of anybody. Sometimes I don't even know my own heart. But I'll tell you what, God that we serve does. And he knows exactly who is where when, when we're here. And he knows exactly who needs to hear what. Now, <clears throat> let me uh, get ready to wrap it up with this. <clears throat> I know you're able, I know you can deliver through the fire or save through the fire with your mighty hand. But even if you don't, my hope is in you alone. That's 